so many IAMs released recently. I know you guys just watched the first impression video not too long ago, but we have another one. Today we have another zero. This time by 7 Hertz, we have the D13 by Shores, the people who brought us S12 and kind of lava. And last but not least, we have the Yanyan Moonlight. Very cult favorite, another hype piece. Let's check it out. Hey friends, Timmy here. Welcome back to another video on Giz Audio. And today we have unboxing slash first impression. All first impressions are done on the M11 Plus playing FLAC files 99% of the time. And the song of choice today is gonna be Easy On Me by Adele. Love this song. It destroys any IEM that doesn't have good treble. It just is so revealing in that way. One of the best song for testing treble ever. But not only treble, it has a lot of bass as well. And of course, Adele being the vocalist that she is, you get to test really good vocals as well. So of course, in Giz Audio fashion, let's start with the one you guys are most interested in. 7 Hertz Zero. And I got the blue version, the light blue version. And why do I go for this one? Arguably, probably one of the more uglier ones. Because I'm tired of the bass colors. I'm tired of black. I'm tired of the white or whatever color else it has is so similar to every other IEM on the market. I want something that stands out in my collection. Hence, I went with the blue and I quite like it. And it pairs well with the red tips as well. It's just, it looks nice. It's like a, a Skittle or a Starburst. Looks good. Inside, you get actually more accessories than I, I thought I was gonna get. I was about to bomb this uh, unboxing hard because, you know, I thought it was just gonna be the same as any old cheap unboxing, but no, you actually get quite a few set of tips and the cable actually looks like it's um, not a bad cable. $20, is this real? Now, this is said to be a rival to Moondrop 2, which in the tuning department, you can kind of see the similarities, though the Zero does look a little bit better. So, I would say the tuning does remind me a lot of the shoe, but it doesn't have the one problem that the shoe has, or well, two problems that the shoe has. One, this does have non-detachable cable, so that's, that's a win there already. The second thing is that the shoe can come across a little bit piercing in a treble area, just a touch. This one seems to be a little bit smoother there, so you won't get that peak on the Zero. The same problem lies though in the treble extension overall. It has decent treble extension, but when it gets to the super high ranges, it does feel uneven and peaky. But again, $20, absolutely forgivable. The base, I would say not going to be for everybody. The base is really shy, uh, much like the shoe. A lot of people who need sub bass, who need mid bass thumps and slam for your fun type of music, then the Zero and the Chew are both not going to be a go for you. If you want a clean mid range, clean vocals with good treble extension for the money, then the Zero is a good choice so far. And with the Chew, they're both, I would say, good choices. Depends on how sensitive you are to treble area. If you're not that sensitive, the Chew might be the better choice for you. You get a little bit more treble, you get a little bit more sparkliness from the Chew, which you may enjoy more. These are a little bit more tame. I would say out of the two though, probably this is more versatile or gonna be more liked by more people since you know the problem that I stated the detachable key. next we have the D13 yeah D13 from Le Shores is it Shores or Les Shores was it always Les Shores or was it used to be Shores before I don't remember them being Les Shores the whole time pull out the sleeve you get this box right here and I feel like this is standard for a lot of um Le Shores IEM. I think the S12, the C12 looks the same here. You get the same production catalog where they advertise to you of other products that they have to make sure you get them all, of course. And ooh, look at these. Look at those. They're the blue ones. Now, I would say these look good to me in person. They look better in person than they do in photos for sure. It's matte finish and it actually feels quite premium remove the foam you get more warranty cards more stuff and then the carrying case now inside here i'm guessing tips and cables cables not bad not as impressive as the s12 though but not bad and of course a lot of tips and look at this i think this is different filters does this have multiple filters mm. 
interesting. For the sake of first impression though, I'm gonna listen to them on the default nozzle that they have installed here. I think these are the silver ones. The one that came extra are the gold ones. All right, let's have a listen. I don't know what to say about this one. It's genuinely pretty good. <laughs> it's genuinely pretty good. The one issue I would say I have with this is that it's potentially a little bit too forward of a vocal for some people. For me, for me, I love vocal forwardness. So I'm all for it. The D13's tuning vocal wise, mid range wise is quite nice for my own personal taste. But I do realize that it can be a little bit too much for some people for sure. All in all though, overall tuning I would say is leaning a little bit on the V shape, neutral V shape thing. It's kind of sitting in between. Bass is good, focus more on the sub bass. I didn't really feel too much mid bass influence here. The outside treble area, seems a little bit tamed for me. I don't know if it's uneven or not. It just feels a little bit tamed to me, but not too tame to the point where it's dark or unenjoyable or anything like that. It's just a safer treble to my ears. Extension seems tamer and safer as well. The biggest thing that's gonna jump right at you here is the amount of upper mids energy here. For some, you're gonna love it. For some, you're gonna find it too much. But so far, so good. The one thing that surprised me as well was that the level of details on this seems to be quite competent as well for the price. Yeah, so high hope for this one for the full review. And last but not least, of course, we have the Yan Yan Moonlight. Now these did come in a white box. The white box was just a white box. It wasn't anything too interesting. So I just took out the case. And this is a beautiful, big, hefty, case. You can use it as your travel bag, you can put toothbrush in here, razors, whatever, and your IM all in the same time because it is just that big. It's kind of falling out if I do this, but inside here you get the Moonlight IM of course and the cable. And in here I think it's just a bunch of warranty cards and stuff. So this retails at a whop. Bing, 649, yes, very high price, but high hopes because this is a cult favorite. A lot of people have recommended this to me. Not much else unboxing wise, so let's just jump into the listening. <sighs> I think today we're just hitting all winners. This one is good as well. I wouldn't say it's completely balanced. It leans a little bit upper mid-range heavy, so it is a vocal forward signature. The treble is on the safe side as well, but I think it's nicely done here. The bass, again, is gonna be the hit or miss for some people. If you need bass, then this might be a miss for you. But if you don't care to have too much bass, just a little bit is fine. Just some is fine to make the music still feels complete, and you want to just focus on the vocals, then these are nice. Yeah, they're tuned well. Technical performance so far I would say is good as well. There's nice depth. I would say the only biggest hindrance to this might be the stage itself does feel a little bit not narrow but not as wide as it could be. I think it has to do with the trouble area being a little bit more on the tame side here but all in all first impression wise another good set. So we're three for three today. All right, with that said, that ends our first impression video. The most impressive I am today, I would say, be the Zero. $20 to Zero is awesome. Second most impressive, I would say it's actually, oh, it's a toss up. The D13 or the Moonlight both are pretty impressive. Yeah, I'm excited to try all of these a lot more, test them and review them in the future. So stay tuned, subscribe, don't miss those. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, bye.